Hello. Welcome Hello. back to Wednesdays. I um, have like the weirdest things in my notes on my phone. I'm just trying to find something because I feel like I wrote down like a funny story to tell you. God, it's very confusing but with our phone cases. Like who's as who? I know, but at least you've got the bigger phone. So guys, it's Len. Oh my God, I used to always be like, I'm giving up chocolate for Len. I used to honestly pretend I'm giving up everything. I never did it last of the day. <gasps> Shrove Tuesday's been and gone then. It's been and gone. Easter. Can I just put it out there? Unpopular yeah. decision, but Easter's one of my favourite holidays. I love Easter. I love Easter. It's yeah. sunny, it's spring, the lambs are lambing. The chicks are chicking. The chockies chocking. Oh my god, speaking of chicks and eggs. Yeah. Have you heard about this Clarence Court song? Yes! They're feeding them paprika. paprika so, so you oh, think where you're do we paying find it from the extra, Vina, yeah, the extra nutrition, but actually it's just freaking paprika. And corn. No one wants to eat corn, apparently. So I'm going back to my Aldi free range organic eggs. Okay, so lamb, what do we give up? Mm. Let me really think about Refined this. Refined sugar. No, my, mine, would be, mine would be croissants because I have them twice a week and that's not bad, but it's not good for you. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'll tell you what mine is and it's a new thing that I've got into. Mm. Sweets. You've always been into sweets. Yeah, but I'm really Pick good at mix, stopping them. Love yeah, them. and then COVID happened, Melissa, and I didn't have them for three years. Because oh. I'm not into the packet sweets, even though Jamie Even though you own them. Apart really from candy kittens. Candy I just candy. love the old crinkly bag you would go and you'd get. And I mm. like to put like the jazzles in it, you know. like I love the strawberries. Yeah, my favourite. No, my, my favourite sweet in the entire universe is oh. like the thick, they're like, a straw with the cream inside and it's red on the outside. Oh yeah, and they do blue versions of that too. Okay, well I mine's the red me. and then second up is a licorice all sort. Don't come at me. I love chocolate covered licorice and they're these balls. I oh, know no, I need to get you a packet. They are life changing. Like no, the most that's unbelievable. Freaking delicious, like satisfying, chewy and then there's a bit mm. salty as well. It's so good. And I kid myself that licorice isn't that bad for you. There's something in licorice that is good it's a for you, root. but when you buy it in the shop, it's obviously just a sweet. But there's mm. probably healthy ones you can buy, to be fair. Well, you can chew on a bit of licorice bark, which my mum actually used to do when I was younger. She'd give it to us. It really? Gives you a sweet taste. Yeah, licorice bark. Wow. You can buy it. Like when we have our licorice tea, that sweet, sweet aftertaste is gorgeous. It's unbelievable. And no sugar in it. I don't really get how that works. Yeah, normally it's really sweet. Because it's so sweet. But sometimes that is too licorice much. bark because a little. Yeah, sometimes I'm like. Yeah. I feel like I've had loads of sweetener rather than sugar. I know, yeah, sugar. I'm the same. It does taste a bit sweetener really vibes. Um, what Natural other things? coffee for you to give up. Let's just put that scenario in your head. When neither of us are massive, massive, massive match fans. I do like it, but I'm not like ride or die. I'm very much going to be a matcher in the summer. I am not in the winter. I, a, hot, a hot matcher to me is disgusting. I'm the same. I also, drink I need it for to have quite a lot of honey or like maple syrup in it to like get I just, that I, I don't think I can have the hot ones. Like, and I also just don't like them being that green. And I know that's when they're good for you, but Ceremonial I like them. grade matcha. Yeah, otherwise mm. it's just pointless, apparently. I know it is. It's all a bit I actually fad. put them in my smoothies, so I'm getting the health benefits so I don't have to taste it. And that'll give you a bit of a caffeine boost. I just am not affected by caffeine. Like, everyone's like, oh, this caffeine's kicking in. And I'm like... I'm not really. I what? think it's a placebo. Like, I'll be like, oh, I haven't had a coffee, need one. But I actually don't really feel a difference. But I used to. Really, so you've I wonder, become immune. I wonder if it's like an immunity Probably. thing. Probably. Probably. Because like now I could have a coffee before bed and I would sleep. But back in the day I'd be like, bing, I'm wide awake. Shaky, shaky. Mm. Mm. But that was like a growing thing. Like I remember when we first started Made in Chelsea, that's actually when I started. Sophie was addicted to coffee. No, I wasn't. I remember in Croatia, you'd have like five coffees a day. Do you not remember? Yeah, the, yeah. I would, and I would have it with vanilla soy milk. It was really odd, and you would just stir it, stir it. All I remember is like visions of you like mincing about in your bikini, like stirring this coffee from that like, outside kitchen thing. <laughs> you, you can, you know exactly why I'm that talking about. That dirty, about. dirty. Yeah. Uh, all I remember from me and Croatia was having so much yogurt and like nuts on it, like really. I remember us food. having loads of that, like those sugar puffs that look like sugar puffs on that yogurt. Do you remember? Yeah, we had like really weird. Food. We would make like our own acai bowls. Yes, that's exactly what we, we were trying to do. That oh God, was we were sweet. so sweet, and you put Alexander ran on, and we did a, like a YouTube booty burn to it. Oh my God, yeah, we just didn't work out. We were like, we're gonna work out every single day we didn't we gave it a good go maybe once or twice okay ski trips or summer holidays <sighs> summer that's holiday. so hard. i love it a yearly ski trip which one am i giving up i'm gonna give up ski trips for summer same. holidays all the way but i do but love I a would, ski trip yeah same but i would prefer to go on a summer if someone gave me a choice of like doing two ski trips you're two summer holidays obviously i'd pick the two summer holidays yeah same nothing better than that sun on your back yeah 
Blow dries or manicures? Oh, me, I'd give up manicures. Mani- no, 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 I'd give up blow dries. Yeah, but I love a blow dryer and I hate a manicure. Like, I find them the most boring thing ever. They're boring, but I don't like look, looking like I've got grubby hands. I do agree, like, my Nothing hands worse are, than a grubby hand. I'm awful. like, I just, th- I don't know what it is. I look at people and I'm like, you're just not well groomed. That's me. I never have manicures. I know. <gasps> I look at people I'm who joking, have crazy hair and I'm like, you're not. <laughs> what, last yourself in the mirror every day? <laughs> Dude, me and Sophie are so awful. Like, we're so, like, unglamorous. Wait, I think we're quite glamorous. I don't. We've I sleep some girls slick that, rick. yes, three times a week, they're washing their hair, they're dicing Ruby their Adler hair. Ruby Adler gets a blow dry twice a week. Elle McNair, Toby's, like, sister-in-law, I've never not seen her with, like, perfect blow dried hair. Never Emily Blackwell. A scrap of, Emily Blackwell. Never greasy hair. Me and Sophie come in, we're like, oh, hair's greasy today. Got to My hair's back. not, do- like, doesn't. The we- reason I would have to- wouldn't be able to get a blow dryer is because I love Willis so much and I just love oh him Oh my God, I bumped hair. into him the other day. He's such a I'm sweet seeing him today, can't wait. Right, okay, so that's why back I wouldn't give up topics. Willis. But actually, my hair I'm very easily like. We just we just go out and we. My hair is never nice. We air dry it as well. I never really blow dry mine. You will never see a blow dryer in my hands ever. I who has the fucking time to blow dry their? I hate blow drying my hair. It looks dead straight and like frizzy. No, the Dyson Air Wrap works on me quite well. I get quite a lot of volume. Yeah, but mine is like been bitten and then it electrocutes me. Oh shit! Well, maybe Mm. you should invest in a new one, Jamie Lang, for the next birthday coming up, which is obviously like a year away. Right, if you go into the dilemma, just so I feel like we could chit chat all fucking day. Yeah, let's go into the dilemma. Sorry, the swear jar needs to be really present because I I know, me too. Right, okay. Swearing's gonna be gone. Yeah, and also hairspray. Like I honestly can't stop tasting that Elna. It's toxic, (laughs) toxic, toxic. (gasps) I always say to Willis, I'm like, do you imagine the damage you're doing to yourself by wearing? Just open the window. I know him, spritz, spritz, spritz all day I long know, with Elmer. Okay, dilemma one. Hey Sophie and Melissa, I was on a dating site last year and matched with a guy. After a bit of chatting, we met up and instantly hit it off. After a few dates, he told me that his parents were coming over from Canada and they would be staying with him. Their stay lasted three months, and during that time he barely messaged me and only made the time to see me on very rare occasions. He had no socials and no WhatsApp, so I couldn't tr- keep track oh of what God. he was doing or when he was online. So mysterious. So aloof. I'd be like, bye, you serial killer. I'm also like, you living in the 21st century. Where's your WhatsApp? Where's your social? How do you fucking communicate? He also kept saying that he had to work late, which I found a bit suspicious as he was a dentist. Oh my mm, God, he definitely red had a wife. Flag, red. He had a wife and a burner phone, and that's why he wasn't on socials and didn't have WhatsApp. One of our dates, he got a message from his dad, which sent him a bit crazy. He started panicking and then picked up his things and just left. It was all really odd, and I decided I deserved better than somebody who had been flaky, so I ended up. A few months later, he contacted me again to say that he regretted how he hadn't made me a priority. He told me that he would do what he needed to do to earn my trust, and so I agreed to meet up with him, and we began dating again. He has a wife. One day, I got a message from my friend who sent me a screenshot of a website for a dentist surgery which showed a picture of the guy I've been dating. Attached to the photo was a blurb saying he liked to spend quality time with his wife. Oh, yeah. Classic. I confronted him about it and he said it was an old website. He said he had previously been engaged, but he couldn't explain why his place of work thought he was married. I've been piecing it all together in my mind ever since. He doesn't call me from home or at night. He's flaky on messages. I've never been to his place and he started to gaslight me, accusing me of not being able to trust him. I want to believe him, but my gut is saying he's married. What do I he's do? Fucking he's married. fucking married. You can Google the marriage certificate. But like, it says he's married. The website's not got it wrong. Yeah. Let's, come on girls. I mean, come on. From this, from day dot, like the, from the first sentence, I knew he was going to be married. From day dot. Like no one is, no one doesn't have there WhatsApp unless you you're living in America because they don't married. use WhatsApp. Right, listen, there is a place somewhere on the internet where you can find out if someone's married because the marriage certificate has to be there. It's like something to do with the council, like... Well, law, right? It's, it's, you can find it. I wouldn't even bother. I would double it's, his it's, sorry It's literally ass. written in black and white in front of you. Come on, team. We're stronger than this. We're not going to fall for this crap anymore. Google, Google who, what his last name is. Try and find out what her name is. Boom. You Tell found her. it. Tell her. Obviously, this dad was calling him because he was like, we know you're having an affair, you son of a bitch. No, no, I don't think that was it. I think it was the wife calling. He was like, fuck. She was probably like, where are you? I'm home. He was like, shit. It's just, it's written, honestly, like, in Even if he was single, I'd be like, this is red, red, red flag. Flag. Never been to his house. Ignores you. Shit. Nothing about him is good. Uh, Yeah, also, you haven't been like, my feelings for him are so strong. I feel like we could, and it's not, 
this is just no just no it's messy so many no's he's obviously also doing it to quite a few girls if he's on a fucking dating app that you've matched with him on like jesus christ i'm i no. really like come on i'm giving you the strength we all need and a heart like a bit of tough love you are better than this you're not stupid but you're acting a little bit stupid now. Come totally, on. Totally. And you don't need us to tell you. Like, your friend has found the photo of him with his wife. The evidence has, like, been presented. Like, yeah. it couldn't be any clearer. The writing is on the wall. Really You've just got to kiss a load those... of frogs to get yeah. your prince. And that's what... He's just an old frog hopping away. He's just away. a frog that's already got a ring on his finger, unfortunately. Yeah, he's just a frog with a ring on his finger. Poor wife. On his little paw. The poor wife. Let me tell you something. Let me tell it's you. It's 2024. We're not taking this shit anymore. No one is going to be dating someone with a husband or a wife. We're going to be loyal, strong, independent girls, and we're not going to take shit from any more men. I'm loyal, babe. I'm loyal, babe. Georgia Steele, she's freaking stunning. 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 I've always thought she was stunning. Oh, no, no, she's like even better than she ever was before. Like, I honestly can't describe it. Green, it's like- green eyes. Green, green, green eyes. Green well, she's eyes. also got this hair, which is like, is it brown? Is it ginger? Is it blonde? Is it taupe? I can't. <laughs> it's just the most <laughs> gorgeous hair color ever. And she's so tiny and cute and like sassy and like, I don't know. I just freaking love her. Right. Dilemma two. Hi, girls. I absolutely love listening to the pod. It's like being on a massive girly group chat. Here's my situation. I've been seeing a guy who was funny who is so funny, we can chat non-stop and he's very settled in his job as a teacher. I've been really, really been enjoying spending time with him, but physical attraction has fizzled. I still think he's good looking, but he doesn't get me going like he used to. I wonder yeah. how long you've been seeing him. I need more context. It's gotten to the point where an innocent chat with guys at work has me feeling more of a spark. Dot, oh, dot, dot. No. I really want to keep seeing him as we get on so well and I love stability that he provides. He's also so mature compared to the boys, to boys his age. But when it gets down to it, I just don't feel like I want to be intimate with him. <laughs> so big problem. I've had some guys slide into my DMs who are way more my type. They're big, muscly rugby players, and I will admit that I have responded to some of their flirty messages. I'm sure they're only after one thing, so I'm obviously resisting the temptation and staying loyal <laughs> to my original guy. I'm kidding myself that the physical attraction will come. Yeah, will no, it come really. back? <laughs> and do I, do I need to think where's my fanny? Haha. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning stages, and it sounds like you're dating him. You don't want it to fizzle out that quickly. I think you just. I think after him two off. years, it's it's gonna deplenish. Like, let's be honest. Right. So I, I think this is an easy, gorgeous scenario to be in. You don't like him. You just don't he fancy should, you him. You don't fancy him. And if you don't fancy someone at this early stage. It's not going to Like 10 years in fine. But this is not going to last. It's not going to last. You've got to wave goodbye to the sweet loyal lad. And hop on top <laughs> the, of the. I love it how she's saying that. And then Hish, what did she say? Loyal. And it went straight over my head. I was like. Oh my God, you didn't get my joke. You were like, why are you looking at me? <laughs> what did she say? I'm staying loyal to my original. I don't know why I'm putting on that accent. She I'm doesn't loyal, babe. Accent. I'm loyal, babe. Um. It's difficult because, like, obviously all these, like, young guys that you seem to be attracted to are, like, silly and, are, you, as you're saying, like, they're just after sex. So, well, just it, but to me, it seems that's like what that's what you're in that headspace right now and that's fine. I think don't, it feels like you're, it's like a blueprint situation where you're like, but he ticks all the boxes on paper. I should fancy I him. Should fancy I him. should fancy him. He's stable. Like, mm. life is life. And you, you, I don't know how old you are, but you feel young. If people are yeah, sliding yeah, yeah. into your DMs, that's quite Also, if you're saying vibe. he's mature for his age compared to the other boys, that tells me they're not men. Yeah, well then live, like, live your youth. Like, follow your fanny right now. Follow that's... your gut, which is telling you to go for the rugby boys. No, she said, and do I need to think of my fanny? I'm going to say yes, hun. Yeah, think with that fanny. If your fanny is not wanting loyal boy, then you're you're done. Also, if your fanny's not wanting a boy, can he's loyal or not, you shouldn't be going there. That means you're just not compatible sexually. Yeah, intimately. Unless you're like However boyfriend you and girlfriend. Say it. Like, if you're just dating, you don't want to have sex with him. It's done. Oh my god, that must be so boring. That's what it's all about when you're like, you don't love. You're not dating. in love with him yet. So like, what's no? The, what, what is the point? What's the point? He's just your mate. At you this know stage. what? At this stage, I would just keep him as a friend. He has like, he sounds like a really lovely guy. Yeah, he might just want to stay your friend, and that's the idea. You also scenario. can't stay with him because you feel sorry for him. No, and it and sounds like there's a little bit of that going on. It sounds like you just like the stability of like, and that's quite a boy thing to do. You know, and they don't actually fancy the girl, but they like. 
you know, when they're hungover having a girl to talk to. Like, oh, don't be one awful. of those. Don't yeah. be one of those. Don't be one of those. Just live your independent life. Sleep, sleep, sleep with those rugby boys. Oh my God, just go out and get those rugby players. Get the whole team on the squad. <laughs> get those muscly squads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Speaking from my experience, I've never been a rugby boy gal. No, nor me, ick. No, oh way. that God. is so not our vibe. It's one of, a few of my friends, it's so their type and they fucking love and cauliflower it. Like, they just No, they love, don't love they the do. They do. They love, like, the rough, the, rag, the rugged look. Like, the broken nose. Like, if someone had a black eye, they'd be like, oh, my God, come on. Oh, out. black eye is quite fit. The, no! coll- the collier I'm the not collier, here for. I'm I'm really, <laughs> I want to see one of my really bad, like one of my best friends, her boyfriend. He's honestly such a babe, love him so much. He's enormous. He's like 6'4". <laughs> Massive big rugby player, like such a lad. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like ooh, rugby, like just a boy. Mm-hmm. Co- big cauliflower ears. I was really drunk when I first met him and I, <laughs> I said, I turned to my friend, that's the girlfriend, like in front of him, I went, not sure about all the accessories. <laughs> And he's got these huge cauliflowers. She was like looking at me like, what's wrong with you? So like, all of my social skills just went out the window. And I was like, not sure about the accessories. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, he's obviously <laughs> quite proud of his cauliflower ears. He's a rugby player. He does not give a it shit. It must mean that they're like strong, ooh, really he's good He's a proper like, man that you don't want to, like you don't want to get in a fight with him. Let's put it that a way. A man that just thinks of booze, beer and rugby. Totally. I kind of like this that. This girl's got great boobs as well. I told you, it's always those rugby lads. Okay, dilemma three. Hello, lovelies. This is less of a dilemma and more of an ask for some advice. My boyfriend is going away on a lads trip with his friends and it's left me feeling feeling with crippling anxiety. This is already annoying me. Don't go on a lads trip. Why? No, obviously you're allowed to, but just already, it's already annoying me. I'm trying not to con- let it consume me, but I'm really nervous at the thought of him being away with his friends and what could happen when I'm not around. Is this something either of you had had to battle against and how do you shake the feeling you're going to be betrayed even when your relationship <gasps> is a solid one? I don't have an ounce of this. Like, I can't comprehend no, it. No, I don't worry. I've never worried like, about Like, if that. Jamie goes on a stag, whatever, like, I, I don't... That's the last thing that would come into my head, but I think sometimes there's horrible, bo- like boys encourage boys and there's like groups of boys that always I do think it's an age thing I do think it's an age thing I also think it's just like a culture thing like sometimes like there's a group of boys and their culture within their friendship group is to cheat and then it encourages the other ones to do the same thing yeah. it's bizarre and there's some friendship groups where it's like that would never even ever be something that they would yeah even, they like, would ne- they would actually be like you're it. safer with those boys because yes. they would never do anything whilst they're yes. around them the whole time Inf- I people can be influenced People can be influenced, particularly when they're under the influence. It's an easy, easy slip up to make. Right. (laughs) My theory on this is, the more you freak him out, the more you're gonna piss him off and push him away. Mm. You have to suck it up and be crippled with anxiety for a week. Yeah. And just hope that he comes. I know that's shit but then advice. Also, I do think there's also an element of like listening to your gut. If you're convinced that something's going to happen, is that because he's given you a reason not to trust him? But Sometimes it is in your head though. Like our heads can just create this awful narrative. Mm. But that is the element of the gut. I think you've really got to sit with yourself and be like, <laughs> is this my gut or is this my head? Like, has he given you yeah. reason to think that he would ever cheat? Totally. Are those boys dicks or are they nice? Like, mm-hmm. b- rationalize the thoughts. Where are they going on this lad's holiday? Yeah, if it's like Magluf, like you're, he's a loser. It, yeah, it totally depends. Like if they're going to have like a nice time with the lads, then that wouldn't actually involve girls They're off to anyway. Greece, lovely. Yeah, Malia, you're cheating. Yeah, that's like yeah. game over, Zanti, game over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would personally just be like, have some respect, you've got a girlfriend, you can't go, is that psycho probably? It's kind of just like what, it's kind of like a girl doing a similar thing, but I don't think that we can presume that just because they're on a lad's holiday, they're going to cheat because eight times out of 10, I hope they don't. But then the, it just depends on what the friendship group vibe is. And like, I don't know what your, do you have trust in your boyfriend going on a night out? I personally think if they're gonna cheat abroad, they're gonna cheat in the UK. Like I don't 100%. see the difference with the trip abroad. Cause I think they seem to think that it's like far away. I don't know. That don't they're know. not gonna, yeah, but if it's in them, it's in them. Listen, if he cheats, you're gonna find out. He's on a group, he's on a group holiday mm. with loads of lads. It's gonna come if out. If he does it, if he cheats, you know, one of the other lads will tell their girlfriend, it will get back to you. These things always come out. So I think as Sophie said, you can't be like, don't cheat on me. Like, no. no. 
you have to just suck it up swallow the anxiety sit with the feeling maybe do some somatic breathing i don't know yeah. just show yourself out go on some girls nights when he's away just to distract yourself yeah. have a lovely lovely time and distract distract distract, distract. and then assess away. assess rationally mm-hmm. the situation as it goes along and if you feel like actually mm-hmm. that that night was fishy i've got a gut feeling mm-hmm then you should do some investigation. Put your yeah. little like, and then you those... write into us again, and we will tell you how to nail that motherfucker down. Exactly. I have a story when I was cheating. I have a story when I was cheating on. He was abroad, and I had a full gut feeling. Oh, Mine, Mine was, was... whilst they were abroad, and I was in UK, and I had a full gut feeling. So did I? And I and woke I up to my in the mum, middle of the night. I said to my mum, "Said before something I went weird to bed, happened." I don't feel good about this. I went. <laughs> I wake up at two a.m. in the middle of the night, and I was like. <laughs> I haven't had to text good night. Yeah, that is it's it's always women notice one little thing changing and that's why we always know when they're gonna propose because they do one little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, and you're like that was weird. It, and it just goes it. think that was weird. Yeah. So when they're cheating You know everything. You know. I even knew who it was if I then looked them up on Instagram to see if they were at the same venue and I was like, God. they are bingo corset. But I didn't think they'd cheated and then they had. So follow your gut. But then also, as Sophie said, like let's have some trust in men before. We need to be yeah. innocent until proven guilty, I think. We can't assume guilty, because then that'll just... Well, we can if they've given us reason to. If they've given us reason to, mm. absolutely. Absolutely. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> We've had a story time sent in, which this is my we love, favorite we love. part of the episode. Okay, ready? Story time, hey queens. I love, love, love the pod and listen to it whilst I'm wandering around uni in Newcastle, Sophie, I hope you approve. <gasps> love. I went on what could be the world's worst hinge date. Oh no. I've been oh, out with my no. friends. Oh no. I've been <laughs> out with my friends. And as I'm a lightweight, I got quite smashed. Classic. Me too. At my peak drunkenness, I got a message from a guy I'd previously chatted to on Hinge who told me that he was in my area. I'd never met him before. But with my drunk courage, I told him to drive over and pick me up. Ooh. Ooh. Risky. Risky business. Risky. We did a drive through Mackey's. And sat in his car chatting, no funny business, I promise. At this point, I realised I needed a wee. And since it was near near the early hours of the morning, we were... There were no toilets open nearby, sorry. Illegal. To make it worse, there wasn't even a bush to squat behind. Illegal. No exaggeration, it was the worst... It was the most I've ever needed a wee before in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> I tried to laugh it off in front of this fit boy and ran around a car park trying to find a place to go to no avail. I don't think I've ever had a situation where I've like been that desperate for a week. I've not been able to squat. Like I've always found somewhere. Yeah, to I would just squat. squat on the pavement. And I would just say pavement turn behind a car. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at has to come. There's some boys that get really turned on by girls. <laughs> that we that is talk about that for a minute. No, golden. they do the golden shower. No, no, not peeing on them, squatting and weird. <laughs> who tells you that? <laughs> Clearly, Toby. Like who in them right mind has ever said to you? I find that fit because no one said that to me <laughs> ever. I'm so embarrassed. I just <laughs> it's obviously Toby. No, it's not. <laughs> you just exposed yourself and him so much. It's not me. I don't have a fetish of weeing on squatting. Wait, wait, wait. He doesn't have a fetish. He always just says there's something fit about a girl squatting down like that. I don't know why. So well, like, probably because you're I... like squatting <laughs> on a no, dick. On a That's minute. the same I'm vibe. Gonna stop. I'm going to stop. Ah, ah. I retract my statement. Okay, let's just go back. <laughs> I got back in the car and told him to drive to my house. On the carriageway, Christ, you were far from home. I couldn't hold it in anymore, so I made him pull over. <gasps> no, it's so I ran illegal. out of the car and fell straight into a ditch, full on to twigs, or full on to hard twigs. I ended up falling all the way down the ditch into the mud and puddles at the bottom. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> no, sweet, sweet girl, I'm picturing bare legs. I came back up to the car looking like I'd pissed myself as all of my trousers were wet. I promised... <laughs> I promised it was just the mud, but it didn't look that way. He found it so funny by the next day I woke up with bruises all down my arm <gasps> and saw that he had blocked me on iMessage, WhatsApp. What? And him. The fact that I nearly wet myself at my big age in a stranger's car makes me want to die, but I thought I'd share my tragic dating story with you. I think you're a legend, so I don't think that's blockable No, at neither. All. I'm really shocked that he blocked me. Like, I really think it's out. really oh, funny. Weird that he blocked Yeah, you. same. He's got an issue. I, I've got a story. He's got clearly a story. got a girlfriend. I've got a Go on, story that story. trumps this. Okay, so so this guy and a girl went on a date. Yeah. Um, and either it was it was the girl. I think we've had this written into us. Yeah, go on. Tell her. This girl basically like had 
the shits and like yeah. shat herself on her first date and he like showered her down. Yeah, we've had that. And this. they've been together since and they're now married. It's sometimes, you know, that's not blockable. That's not pee. There's nothing the gross about pee. Like, like I've peed in front of boys from get go. I, I just... don't. I've only just started weeing in the same bathroom as Tobes now. Oh my God. If I he's haven't. in the shower and I need to wee, it, I'll, I'll be like, but turn he around. Liked you. <laughs> no, he says he like, has this thing. Like, if I squat down to pick up like my hairbrush or like. Why do you, do you so- squat? Don't you just bend? <laughs> like, no, no. I'll do this. I'll give you a demonstration. Ready? If I'm like on my phone, I'll be like, sat like this. Basically, that's just quite a phallic <laughs> sexual position to you, Melissa. Maybe. So it's basically anyway, like. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. I've really said too much. I've overshared. I've overshared. I'm so sorry, everyone. We love every second of it. Got a gorgeous, gorgeous, tiny question. Okay. Can we please talk about teeth? I floss. I've Oil pulling kind of makes me want to gag. It's like, really difficult, but you have to just get used to it. I like physically want to throw hard. up. I know it's hard because you have to keep it in there for like 15 minutes. But like, or, like how? I think I need to go back and like use just coconut oil because one I have has flavours and I'm like, oh no, that I wouldn't be able to It do tastes that. a coconut bit like curry in the morning. Oh fuck no. So I get up, I scrape my tongue, I oil pull for 20 mm. minutes, then I brush my teeth, but at night I always floss and then brush my teeth and scrape my tongue. Okay, I do the flossing, the scraping of the tongue and occasionally oil pull. It does take a long time. I often don't have it's 20 only if minutes. I, yeah, it's like, only if I have 20 the, minutes. Before I can brush. Leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it, it depends. It's, it's like a great two, three thing times if, a week. Yeah. Don't use mouthwash because apparently it kills all your microbiomes in it's your mouth. Really it's you. really bad really, for you. Really, really bad. What other things do you want to know about teeth? And then makes your breath smell even more. Oh, I have Invisalign. And I had I, Invisalign. It's taken me about two years. <laughs> Sophie's had Invisalign honestly as long as I've known her. <laughs> She also doesn't even have the dots on her teeth. So I always think she's lying about having Invisalign. I'm like, you don't have Invisalign. I got them taken off from my wedding, punk. Oh, you did? Punk. I did. That's a new insult. <laughs> okay. Do you Why know Sophie we... aggressively used to call me bitch all the time? Oh my God, that She'd was... be like, yeah, shut up, bitch. And no, I like... wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, that's right, bitch. Yeah, God, that really was... aggressive, actually. I really like that. I miss that in no, my life. No, don't bring that back. That was really un on you. I didn't like it. It was really rolled off the tongue You know the what time. it was? You know when someone goes, mm-hmm, and you're like, no. <laughs> no, I don't. Shut up. That I, was what bitch was for me when I you were doing that. I so like, basically just pure and utter egg. <laughs> I've never heard someone other than that so raven go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Who? You know who did who it? Who does that? Sex in the City, Carrie Bradshaw goes, no, you didn't. And I was like, oh my Carrie God. Carrie Bradshaw in my does. mouth. I was like, you do not suit that. Don't fucking, no. Guys, keep sending us in those stories. The filthier, the better. The filthier, the weirder. We love it all. We like to hear yeah. every single thing. We'd actually like to hear some like love stories because we never get to hear them. Also, can we just have some more follow-ups of where it's worked out? We really just love the follow-up stories as well. We love the follow-ups so much that we're actually going to dedicate it to a whole episode by itself, right? Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments. DM us. As always, guys, you can watch this whole episode on YouTube. Um, You can watch us from start to finish. See all the weird things that we do. Love you. Bye. Bye.